This scene in its entirety was created in Blender with the new Earth Modeler add-on. This add-on will allow 3D city and terrain models from almost anywhere in the world to integrate with your Blender project, allowing artists to bring the static Earth experience to life with automobiles, realistic water, atmospheres, and people. A few weeks ago, the announcement was made at Google I.O. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, evening, wherever you may be tuning in. Today, we have exciting news to share around 3D experiences. Developers have long desired the ability to power immersive experiences with the same 3D data source used by Google Earth. A simple one-button integration of Google Earth in Blender. The announcement was made in partnership with CCM along with Unity and Unreal Engine support. While excellent platforms for the streamed Earth data, Blender allows for greater control, quality, and enhanced flexibility compared to the streaming platforms. The Earth Modeler is presented as a simple panel add-on. You enter in the coordinates, which can be obtained from Google Maps, and click the Start button. After a quick analysis of the data provided by Google, the add-on will then create an optimized model within Blender. Depending on your selected level of detail, this can take anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes. This particular example is using horizon level detail of about 1,500 kilometers. The Earth Modeler uses a radial detail algorithm to enhance the detail of objects around a focal point. Additionally, individual model tiles can be enhanced manually. This model represents several thousand individual tiles to produce a scene. The focal point is set to the scene origin and the models are aligned naturally to accommodate particle and physics simulations. As demonstrated here, the models will interact with environment and lighting conditions. Adding water surfaces is as simple as adding a plane and then adjusting it to the model's position. Then bringing it to life by adding your favorite water material. This one here is one I use quite often. Then it's just a matter of fine tuning the position and adjusting our material. To boost the reflectiveness of the water surface, we're gonna add a reflective plane. This will enhance the reflection under the bridges and the buildings along the riverbank. We set the height of the reflection plane and then adjust its vertical position until we get the right reflection. We'll then set up our camera. We'll set our clip end to a million meters. Uh, this will give us enough depth for the camera to view all of the modeling. The real world scale of the models is one to 10. So one meter will equal 10 meters in real life. Once we set up the camera, we'll want to make this uh, a little bit more realistic looking. So we're going to add some atmosphere to the camera view. Uh, this is achieved by adding a cube, which will then scale over the city of London. We'll then apply a volumetric material to the cube, which will allow us to control the mist or haze in the atmosphere. We'll set the density uh, of the haze, and then we can use the uh, volumetric adjustments to control the depth of the haze. This gives you a starting point and an end point for the haze. Um, the starting point is from your camera uh, when the haze will start, and then the end point is how far it will go off into the distance. And we can make adjustments here to either darken it or lighten it up, make it look like a summer hazy day or make it look like a storm's coming in. Every city has traffic. Uh, unfortunately, with the uh, Google Earth uh, models, we do not get any. Uh, so we're going to add a bus now to the Westminster Bridge. And uh, remembering that we'll be scaling it to uh, one tenth scale uh, and then we'll animate it along the bridge. And finally, we'll do a final uh, camera check and uh, readjust our keyframes. Uh, and once we've got everything set in place with regards to how we want it to look, we can just set it off to render. The final render will include all of Google's legal copyright attributions. This add-on is currently in development and preview. 
If you'd like to contribute to this project, please leave a comment below or contact me through my About page or via Instagram and Twitter at Imagiscope. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.